Morton, Jr., chairman of the board of the Dallas County Community College District. You've just been introduced to some of the students from our four campuses. How they got there is a thrilling experience of history of Dallas itself. I've been a part of that history. Let me share with you some of the things that have happened, how it came into existence, where we are now, and where we hope to be in a very few years. The Dallas County Community College District came into existence in 1965, when voters set aside enough money to establish and staff four colleges and buy sites for seven. Since that time, the district has grown to be the largest community college district in Texas. Sixteen months after that first bond election, students were attending El Centro College in downtown Dallas. During its life, the district has pursued the objective toward putting a comprehensive community college in all neighborhoods of the county. A good start has been made in that direction. In addition to El Centro, there are now three outlying colleges. Eastfield and Mountain View came first, one in the western part of the county, the other to the east. These colleges were opened in the fall of 1970. About two years later, Richland College was opened in the northeastern part of the county. We believe this is a fine college campus with a fabulous future. We hope you like what you see here today since you are the ones who made it possible. With that done, the Board of Trustees of the district has fulfilled the obligations passed along to them by voters in 1965. Incidentally, members of the board have been recognized as major contributors to the success of the district. They put in many hours without pay, tending to the business of the district, even though they spend a great deal of time operating their own businesses and tending to other civic functions. Now a look at the present. The magnificent architecture of the district's colleges is a source of pride to everyone in Dallas County. And a look at what's inside reveals that these buildings are more than just attractive schoolhouses. Probably if there was just one word to describe the design of these buildings, it would be functional. Some call it a total educational environment, while others say the district is putting the action where the action really is, with the student, and the teacher. Because the campus is designed this way, every student is really in the center of things. He may begin his college day in the student lounge for the daily rap session. After all, this is learning too. But he is surrounded by almost everything else that makes up his college. Nearby are private study rooms, rooms for tutors, the classrooms, all the laboratories, and even the cafeteria, and a place to work off all that energy. Close at hand, and in the mainstream of things, are those areas where students work with their hands as well as with their brains. The district feels that courses which involve sweat, grease, and muscle have an equal status in the educational environment. One of the basics of the community college concept is a staff of highly trained counselors. These people help the students get on the right track and stay there. They do this by matching the talents and goals of the individual with an appropriate educational program. If a person were to struggle for even a couple of years, waste time, money, and energy, and force himself into a career he was not suited for, it would be a terrible waste. We as counselors are here to prevent that sort of waste. An effective counseling program, of course, is expensive. Trained professionals must always be available to advise each student from the time he enters a school until he leaves it. But it pays off for both the district and the student. Counselors do more than get the students into the correct schedule of classes aimed at the right kind of job. They arrange for special tutors if the student needs help outside the classroom. They help arrange financial assistance if money is a problem. And when the student is ready to move on, the counselor has the latest information on jobs. Or he has extensive material on other colleges and universities if the student desires to continue his education. 
All of this is done on a one-to-one -one basis. It often leads to a close bond between the counselor and the student. And because counselors come from all walks of life, just as the students do, they can frequently help with individual problems that might otherwise go unsolved. No one aspect of counseling is more important than another. Because in dealing with human beings and when you're dealing with the future of people, everything is very, very important. Counselors also work closely with the instructor to make sure they understand what is needed for each individual student to get the most out of each class. The Dallas County Community College District is based on the comprehensive community college concept. This concept is an effort to meet the educational needs of all members of the community. In keeping with this philosophy, opportunities are offered through three basic programs, transfer, technical occupational, and community services. Those students wishing to pursue a traditional academic career often find that the hometown environment offers an excellent stepping stone to four-year institutions. Others prefer the transfer program in the district for other reasons. Many students taking credit courses attend college elsewhere before enrolling here. In a survey, former students say they found a big improvement in the quality of instruction, the interest taken in the student by the faculty, and the difference in the sizes of their classes. Some enrolled for credit courses because their education was interrupted years ago for one reason or another. Others may just recently have moved to Dallas County, while some are here because they have changed their educational goals. It's still in high school that I'd go on to college. I know eventually what I want to do, but as yet I've not decided where to go to get my bachelor's degree. And there's really no great pressure to do that. I know I can save a lot of money by living at home and going to school here. I can get a part-time job and go to school part-time. Or if I wanted, I could work full-time for a while and know that I could come back here and take up right where I left off. Getting my first two years of college right here in my own community gives me a lot of flexibility to do what I want to do. And I can be assured that the classroom education I'm getting is as good as I could get anywhere. Okay, try it now. It's good. Four years of college may be okay for some people. Me, uh, I like working with my hands as, as well as my brains. I guess the point I'm trying to make is that there are enough good jobs going around. But to get to good jobs, you've got to compete. That means being the very best in your field, whatever it is. Most technical occupational students feel the same way I do. The idea that a bachelor's degree cinches getting a good job just doesn't hold true anymore. The Dallas County Community Colleges offer a long list of career programs which may be completed in one or two years. The important thing to remember is that these are rewarding skills that are really needed in our community. The college district helps solve the manpower needs of the country by surveying potential employers. If there's enough demand for a specific skill, the district reacts quickly by providing high quality training to meet that demand. By learning these specific job skills, the student knows he'll have a job waiting for him when he completes his training. If a particular course outlives its usefulness, it's dropped and another one takes its place. Right now, there are more than 80 technical occupational courses offered by the district. The instructors who teach these courses know what they're talking about, too. Each is chosen because he's an expert in his field. And what's more important, he knows how to make you an expert, too. Some students, even though they may be high school graduates, aren't quite ready for college. In other words, they need help, and the Dallas County Community College District is prepared to offer it. The district has adopted what it calls the open door policy. This means that every prospective student is welcome, not just those who have been preparing for college for years, but everyone. 
when everyone is invited to enroll, tuition and fees must be low enough that everyone can afford them. Here they are. You know, it's easy to say that the door is open, that everybody is welcome. But to make sure that the door is open, we have to make sure that we have something worthwhile for students when they come through the door. That's what we're trying to do. The district tries to provide remedial programs for everyone, especially those who may not be prepared for college classroom work. An effort is made to help each student recognize his potential and begin developing it. Each student is given as much individual attention as possible. All of this is aimed at developing attitudes and skills that will be needed in the classroom and later on the job. The instructors who teach these developmental courses do so because they want to. Putting students into the classroom with a chance of succeeding is important to these teachers. When the student realizes this, it becomes important to them. Getting through college takes brain work. In other words, you've got to use your head. I have an interest in yoga. One of the short-term courses offered at the college without college credit. For me, and thousands of other students like me, the rewards of courses such as this come in the form of personal enrichment. And thousands of others see these community service courses as a way to learn more about the present jobs. Or maybe they're looking ahead to better jobs. One thing's for sure, we're all serious about these courses, no matter why we're here. Some of us simply want to learn more about the world around us. Some of us are here just because we want to be, because it's fun to learn about beautiful things and how to make things beautiful. Many of the community service students are full-time businessmen, anxious to keep abreast of the changing world. They know they're competing in a fast-changing society. The district offers non-grads community service courses also, and all of them are designed to fulfill specific needs in the community. Each of them can show that a few hours a week do a great deal to stimulate personal growth and happiness. Eugene McDermott, Vice Chairman of our Dallas Community College, a position I have held since its beginning in 1964. It is a position that I feel a citizen like myself is so fortunate to have held. As Vice Chairman, I have had concerns about all aspects of the college. However, I have had a major concern. That has been the environment in which our VIPs, our young people, the students, spend in our colleges. From the beginning, our district, we in the Junior College Administration, wanted the best environment, the best colleges for our students in terms of quality of life. Many times, this best environment is not the most expensive, but certainly it has to be the most thoughtfully planned. We trustees have spent hours, days, and weeks trying to get the best architects, the best landscape designers, and interior designers. I hope you feel that, like we do, that we have achieved success.
let's take a look at how the district is financed and how it spends the money. Although many factors influence revenue and expenditures, here's a typical year. About 25% of the money comes from local taxes. The state of Texas adds over twice as much through state funds, about 56% of the budget. The students themselves add about 15% through tuition and fees. Federal funds give us about 2%, and miscellaneous funding makes up the remaining 2% or so. Where does it go? About 53% of the money goes to salaries for the faculty. Special projects consume about 4%. General institutional requirements take another 4%. Another 7% of the money is spent for learning resources. Counseling and student services require another 10%. Expenses for operation of all campuses take another 12%. And finally, 10% of the budget is spent for planning, evaluation, and general administration of the district. What you've just seen during the last few minutes is a thumbnail sketch of the Dallas County Community College District. A full comprehensive report would take hours or possibly days. At the start, I told you we'd look at the Community College District of the future. In the final few minutes, let's do just that. The best estimates available indicate that by the end of the 1970s, the Dallas County Community College District will be serving additional thousands in this area. Any way you look at it, that's a big investment in the future of your community. We're confident that in some way, each of those students will not only enrich his own life, but also the welfare and happiness of those around him. Simple logic concludes that the investment draws handsome dividends for all of us. Our graduates have already contributed significantly to the Dallas County manpower supply. By 1980, it is expected the Dallas County Community College District will be the primary source of skill and manpower for the North Texas area. This will be accomplished through expansion and additions to our present facilities, made possible by the bond election of 1972. Part of the expansion plans include the construction of three colleges by 1978. In the southern part of Dallas County, Cedar Valley College will be built on a 353-acre tract near Lancaster Road and Bonneview Road. And to the northwest, North Lake College will be built on 276 acres near Story Road and State Highway 114. In the north, Brookhaven College will be built on a 204-acre tract at the intersection of Marsh Lane and Valley View Lane. With the completion of these three new colleges, no student in Dallas County will be more than a few minutes from one of the district colleges. Within a few years, the master plan, the great dream, will be a reality. Every citizen of our community will be offered knowledge and the opportunity to succeed. <laughs>